Hi everyone, it's Jess. Um, you may know me as Ingrid from Flunk. We are doing a questions video today. Thank you so much for sending in all your questions. I go right here and we're gonna answer them today. Okay, first question, here we go. Uh, who slash where do you draw your inspiration from for your character on Flunk? Um, good question. Um, people that I draw from, um, I obviously draw a lot from my own life um, because Ingrid is also like a Chinese girl growing up in Australia and she's from kind of like a semi-poor background and all of that I can relate to personally. Um, I also draw a lot from um, films that I like and characters that I kind of look up to or actresses that I admire um, and there's obviously like an a lot of LGBT films in there. Um, I love like Moonlight and Call Me By Your Name and Blue Is The Warmest Color. Like they are all just like, it's like the triangle of um, amazing indie <laughs> LGBT films. Um, let me know if you have a recommendation for me based on those movies and I'll be sure to check it out because I'm always looking for new resources to draw upon. Um, I also like read a lot of articles for research. If you know any articles that you think I might be interested, put them down below. Or you can actually direct message them to me at jess.clee, that's my Instagram handle. Um, my acting coach is a huge inspiration and like the people around me have been so open and they've shared their experiences with me, which has been amazing. Um, I've worked on other LGBT films before as well, so um, just kind of like that collective experience and obviously going out and finding more resources has been really helpful. The internet is amazing. Um, yeah, that's probably it. So, next question. How does it feel to act as a gay character? I absolutely love it. I'm so passionate um, about telling diverse stories. Um, I make my own films and basically every story that I've ever written or directed has been based on telling a story that um, needs to be told basically. Um, it's just so rewarding and one of the amazing things about acting and why I love it so much is because you can um, like put yourself in someone else's shoes and learn um, ex and to learn about experiences other than your own. Um, it's just really rewarding and it's probably the best thing that I've ever done. Are you gay in real life? I am so glad someone asked this question and I'm also kind of petrified to answer it. Um, I, as Jess, am not gay. Um, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. Like on one hand, um, I believe I bring a lot to the character, like, my Chinese background and my training and my experience. Um, and on the other hand, I believe in like, obviously casting as authentically as possible. Um, and I did like a speech on whitewashing in high school and that kind of thing. But you know, acting at the end of the day is about putting yourself in someone else's shoes and learning about experiences that are different to your own. And um, it's made me, like a more open person and very empathetic and it's just been really um, like personally rewarding. I feel like I've grown so much and I'm really grateful that I get to do this and I hope that my dedication to this character um, like reads and um, I hope she's someone that can help other people who are going through the similar situation um, like make their experience a little easier because I know films have done that for me personally, and that's why I love it so much. Next question. Um, how long did it take uh, to film the episode in the bush? Here at Flunk, we are super efficient. Um, I'd say like on other films that I've worked on, we only get through like two minutes a day. Like it takes a long time to film stuff because you know, behind the scenes you've got like lights and makeup and so many other departments and um, it's just like takes such a big team to bring it together. But um, at Flunk we have like a super closely, um, here at Flunk we have a super close like tight knit team and it makes everything super efficient and we get through so much in a day. Um, like that bush scene was just one day of shooting, like maybe even half a day. Um, and yeah, we just kind of like snap through it really quickly. Next question. What's the hardest part of being an actor? Um, 
I'd say the hardest part about being an actor for me has been um, kind of realizing that I was allowed to do it. Um, like it took a really long time to build enough confidence and have the courage to um, pursue this because it's not like an easy career. And also as a Chinese girl, um, like roles are kind of limited, um, but it's getting so much better. Like September was a really amazing month for um, Asian, like American representation, like to all the boys I've loved before came out and it was amazing. I loved it so much. Lana Condor is so beautiful and so funny and so talented. I've basically binged every single video on YouTube that exists with her in it. And Noah Centenary is like another, oh my God, <laughs> big crush. Um, and Crazy Rich, Asian, Crazy Rich Asians came out as well. Um, and I cried so much watching that with my friends. And it's just been, it's really exciting. I feel like the ball is really rolling and um, so many like uh, Asian role models, like Sandra Oh. Um, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy at the moment. Um, Constance Wu, obviously, Alana Condor, um, Gemma Chan. There's just like so many. And it's just really exciting to see all these people that I look up to like, um, like reach their potential. Like, it's just so exciting. Um, but like the hardest part, I probably, say is just kind of like getting roles um just because there's a limit there's a limited amount of work out there and it's very competitive um but like if you get to do this you don't complain because it's like the best job ever and I'm so lucky I feel so privileged like it's never lost on me how lucky I am that I get to do this and um there are hard parts but you know you stick through it if you love it next question What's the most fun scene you've filmed during Flunk? Um, I don't think it seems fun, but crying on camera is really fun because, you know, you know you've got the scene coming up and you're kind of like, oh, am I going to get there? Like, can I do it? Um, and then if, like, the stars align for you and you've worked hard enough and you're kind of tired, <laughs> the tears just come and then you're like, yes, it's kind of, like, very cathartic. Um, but just, like, I love it when um, we're shooting with um, all the cast, so... Like sometimes we'll shoot with just one other cast member, but it's really fun when everyone's together because we all have such like great fun together and um, learning from them is amazing and like getting to know them better throughout more shooting and we're all like friends. It's, it's probably the best part as well. Um, next question is, what was it like to be the character Ingrid? Um, it's been super rewarding and super fun. I'm so glad that you guys relate to her as a character because that's why I love her so much. I relate so much to what she's going through. Um, and she's just like super human. And I think that's resonating with you guys. And I'm really glad that that's landed. Um, what else is it like? Um, it's also kind of frustrating because I just want her to be okay. <laughs> And I wanted to come out the other end and like see a happy ending. And she makes choices that I don't agree with, but I can totally understand why she does so. And I'm also frustrated as to why she hangs out with these people because they're so mean to her and she deserves better. Um, ugh. But on the whole, it's amazing. And I feel very blessed to um, be the face of this amazing character. The next question is, what advice would you give to someone in Ingrid's situation? Um, advice I would give to Ingrid. Um, I think it would just be to, um, to just really make peace with who you are. Like, I know that sounds so easy and it took me a really, really long time to like own up to the fact that I wanted to um, get into acting and it took me a really long time to be um, like really proud of my differences and like my culture and that kind of thing. It's actually what my film is about um, that I'm making currently. Um, and like for Ingrid, she's going through that as well. And I guess, That'd be my first piece of advice. And then the second piece of advice is to know what you deserve. Like Ingrid deserves so much better than what she's getting from the people around her. 
Um, and sometimes you kind of get comfortable with the people you're around and if they're not good for you, like you don't owe them anything. Like there's this quote where it's like, don't ever feel guilty for um, cutting someone off if they're doing something harmful to you, whether that's like emotional or like physical. Um, but it's like, I'm not doing this to you, I'm doing it for me. Um, so if you kind of like change your perspective and realise that you're looking after yourself, um, I think that's a good piece of advice because we get so wrapped up in how other people think of us and like what you're doing to other people, but you also have to take care of yourself. Um, and sometimes you have to put that first. So um, if I were Ingrid, I would give maybe like her friends a couple more chances but then, like, if nothing gets better, you might just need to go find your people. Like, there are going to be people that you haven't met yet who are going to love you. And you just got to find those people and find people who are really accepting and supportive. And that is what I'd say to Ingrid. The next question is, do you think there is still a stigma for teens coming out today? Um, I, it's just so not easy. I don't think it's going to be easy for a really long time. But we've also made amazing progress. Like, it's illegal. Oh my God, no. It's not illegal anymore for um, gay marriage to occur in Australia. Um, I uh, cried so hard that day. And we've, we're definitely like reaching milestones, but then there's still so much work to be done. Like, I still witness homophobia all the time. And just know that there are communities where. They are very accepting. And you just gotta, again, like find those people. Um, I do think there is still a stigma. Like there are just a lot of conservative people who are very set in their ways and they've kind of believed, if someone's believed something for a really long time, it's kind of hard to adjust that. But I think you've just got Mm, I don't know it's just so hard to give advice I'm so sorry um hmm oh my goodness it's so hard but I know it's getting easier and there are like so many online platforms and like spaces that you can go to where people are so open about that so I think there's a lot more support out there and like you'll definitely find a lot of allies and um it's just it's getting better but there's so much more to be done. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Next question is, what do you think of the Flunk fan accounts? <sighs> My producer sent me <laughs> the first fan account and she screenshotted it. And when I saw it, I was like, what in the actual hell? I thought she was pranking me. I thought she had made it. And then I checked it and it was like a real person. And they had like screenshotted stills from the account and like made little edits, made little edits around them. And there's like ones where I'm in space and there's ones with like rainbows all around me and like just little like um, illustrative details. And it's like so touching. And I can't believe that there are people in the world who are screenshotting my face and like making art out of it. It's like kind of insane. I don't think it's fully set in yet. Um, and I'm getting a lot of really nice messages and reading your comments is like the best, one of the best parts of it. Like I'm really excited to s see new Flunk episodes coming out, not because I like watching myself, but because I like to read your comments and I try to reply to all of them as well. Um, yeah, you guys have been so supportive and your response has been so <laughs> and your response has kind of just been really overwhelming and it's um, kind of m motivating us even more to um, bring out new episodes and like work really hard at this to make you guys happy. <laughs> um, oh no, <laughs> that was the last question. I thought there were more. Um, well, please send more so I can do more of these. I think we're going to do some really soon. So if you have any questions for me or any other cast member um, or even like the director or the producer, <laughs> um, the unsung heroes of Flunk, um, the producer's called Mel and the director's called Rick and we have a soundie called Tom and another soundie called James. So you guys should like shout them out in the comments as well because they do amazing work that no one sees and without them, Flunk would not exist. So... 
we should make fan accounts for Rick and Mel as well, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, like send us your questions, keep making those edits, <laughs> um, tag me in all of them. And thank you so much for these ones. It's been really fun to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye.